You stand accused of fraternizing with candy pushers, of producing and distributing foodstuffs with limited nutritional value. Also, you probably attack the old one. How do you plead? Plea rejected. Proceed to each of the trial rooms for your sentencing and execution. The witness will answer the question. I... I do not know what is happening. Did the wizard engage in willful acts of snackification? Yes or no, it's a simple question. I am unsure. Ask them yourself. Ah, there's the defendant now. Anything to say before I pass sentence? I thought not. deal with this sort of lunacy often, wizard? Because I do not. But we have to find Greta. We were separated when the vine scenes pulled us into the ground. You are accused of promoting sweets, which in turn promote poor health, obesity, and leaving chocolate stains on new white couches. How do you plead? You will be the one pleading when I get out of here. If you provide evidence on your accomplice, we will be willing to show leniency. Good for you, because my accomplice won't. Will you, visit?
lose it. We must get out of that cage. I need to punch someone. Too bad they all run away. Perhaps we should do the same, yeah? Let's a visit find Rosina. Yes. I hate this world. It's sickering. False. Every That's what the...
The cavities aren't mine. I didn't see eye to eye with the old one on everything. But he was a vegan, you know? So I gave him a pass. As for the cavities themselves, I told you. This world is diseased. Even you can't save it. I do hate to be a bother, but would you be so kind as to let me out, kiddo? Thanks. Ah, wonderful. Hello, I'm Rosina, part of the group known as Witch. I gather you're the wizard that's been making waves all over the spiral. Alfoy? No, I don't know what that is. I'm a gobbler, though I suffer from a variety of allergies to sugar, gluten, peanuts, dairy, soy, shellfish, and wood. I suspect this is related to my rather distinctive features. At any rate, what say we prove that unpleasant fellow wrong and save Caramel, eh? Let's just try not to spend too much time outside in the forest. Allergies and all that. Very uncomfortable. Wizard, your friend scurried off again. Honestly, we just blinked and he was gone. What in the name of Nana happened here? I can't have this stuff around me. I'm allergic to citrus and chlorophyll. <laughs> oh, and look, you found some gobblers. How <laughs> about that? What were they doing here? Nana was sweating them for antijoys to make sour gummies. That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever said. Do you know how to counteract the antijoys so we can purify the tainted gummies? Will fairy dust do it? Not by itself, kiddo. That would just pile sweetness on top of the sour. We need something to break down the antijoys themselves. Fortunately, I think these gobbler fellas can help us with. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, that. Wait, I know you. You're the witch what banished our king. Run, everybody, run from the witch! Oh, this again. They must be trying to hustle back to Gobbleton. I left a boat by the Soda Lake. We gotta get there before they do. The gobblers are gone, and there is no bo- We must go to Gobbleton, find out how Nana is getting its people to her factories, and disrupt her supply line of antijoys. Hans, Greta, ret We must go to Gobbleton, find- Hans, Greta, return to the treehouse and tell everyone where we're going. Wizard, I hope you can breathe underwater. Looks like this is where we part ways, Wizard. 
Good luck. underwater. How are you doing that? Something, something celestial, huh? Makes as much sense as the rest of this. Now, watch out for those jellyfish! Ah, that's better. No forests, no allergens. Welcome to Gobleton, wizard. Is it everything you were expecting? As for the gobblers, we are an indolent people. We while away our days eating, expelling gases, and passing out from the exertion. Small details like maintenance and not eating the street tend to escape us. I'd hope to change that to encourage them to do things, anything. It's the witch! The one who scared King Gobblestone away! Urgh. Get her! But then there was... that. I'm afraid I require your services as bodyguard, kiddo. Hopefully you can convince them not to resort to cannibalism.
We won't eat the witch, but tell her she better not wish away our new king. And bring us some food! P please Bring them food, but Nana supplies all the food to Gobleton. No wonder they're so hangry. It's those antijoys. They'll get you every time. I have a theory that gobbler physique and attitude are influenced by the food that we eat, more so than other races, hence my unique appearance. That's why I think gobblers can be the solution to the antijoys. We just need to feed them the right thing. Alas, they are set in their ways. I asked King Gobblestone, a portly fellow, even by gobbler standards, to see what happened if he exercised and ate fewer than 30 meals a day. This upset him greatly. He began ranting about witches, then waddled off to some other world. In response, the citizenry ran me out of town. Since I'm persona non grata here, can you ask some of the gobblers about the missing food rations, and if they've noticed any absent brethren? Capital! I'll do some sleuthing from the shadows and meet you on the other side of the island. Good luck! 